know, I attend a lot of you know, gatherings, you know, interfaith gatherings and whatnot. A lot of times Muslims will get up on stage and give their own kind of personal tafsir of the Quran. Right? It's very common, for example, with verse uh, Surah Al-Baqarah, ayah number 62. Right? So whoever, whoever believes, those who believe, those who are Jews and Christians, those who are Sabians, anyone who believes in Allah on the last day uh, um, will have their reward. They shall not grieve, nor shall they fear. So... This verse is quoted a lot to like interfaith audiences. And people get the wrong idea that, you know, we're a perennialist type of religion that you can believe whatever you want and you, you know, you're going to go to Jannah and it doesn't matter. And it's just a wrong understanding of the ayah. Um, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Man amana. This is in the past tense. Whoever had already believed and became Muslim, that's one way of looking at it. Or man amana is a conditional statement. Whoever should become Muslim in the future, right? So there's nuances in Arabic that people need to study, uh, and they should tap into what the actual Mufassirin actually say about the Quran. So this is why the Sahaba and Tabi'in were actually very cautious about this type of tafsir.